hey welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is onika all right so from the title you can see that i'm gonna be discussing some tips that i have been doing to just help keep my natural hair healthy and strong all right so if you're not new to the channel you would have known that i had locks for at least five years before combing them out well first i cut them they were to my bra strap and then i cut them to show the length like in a bob and then i ended up combing them out so i combed out my locks approximately three months ago i did it at the end of april like the last couple days in april going into may i wanted to do it close to my lock anniversary i had locks i had initially locked my hair may 4th 2019 so i ended up doing it a couple days before but basically you could say that i combed out my locks about three months ago because it would be may june july and we're about by the time you see this video we're gonna be in august because i'm feeling this at the end of july yeah so i wanted to wait a bit to develop a routine to see what's working for my hair so far and just you know all the things finding ways to ensure that my loose natural hair is in its most healthy state and just ways to make my hair stronger because you know the healthier the hair is the stronger the hair is then the better length retention so you're definitely gonna have more hair growth and then your curl pattern is gonna be looking the best that it possibly can the shafts will be looking healthy and all the things all right so let me just get right into it by the way if you see me looking down i'm using my phone um i made like some notes just to keep myself on track and organized so that my thoughts are not all over the place <laughs> all right so my first tip or the first thing that i've been doing or i've been loving i've been loving wash and goes right so currently especially because i did a oh yes so after combing out my locks <laughs> i ended up getting a cut so i got a tapered cut as you can see well my hair is basically growing back now so it's not because i did the cut at the end of may so it's been two months since my tapered cut so my hair is growing out some more but it's still in the shape of the tapered cut right so since i did the tapered cut i've just been doing wash and goes or like finger coils while I style my hair so after I wash it I would style my hair with either a leave-in and a gel or I just use like foam and a gel and I would do that to style my hair I find that it is very low with manipulation so hence like after I style my hair I can leave my hair alone for like a week to a week and a half and I won't be you know being in my hair and doing all the things so when your hair has low manipulation then we're not likely basically if you leave your hair alone it's more likely to grow and to stay strong so i've been loving wash and goes wash and goes have been my go-to of course as my hair gets longer i might revert back to like my twist outs and my braid outs and all of that but for now i've just been doing wash and goes like right now my hair is basically in like a wash and go wash and style um style right now uh, i have videos on my channel that shows how i achieve this look so of course if you're interested you can go back and look at those videos so that's my first point so the second point stems from a point that i brought up with the wash and go which was the low manipulation so doing wash and goes in general is a form of low manipulation for your hair once you style it and leave it alone but in the process of like washing and detangling i tend to use my fingers to detangle my hair to detangle the knots and also i like to use this this is a tangle teaser this is so gentle on my hair oh my gosh and these are the bristles never mind the hair that are in the brush but yes so basically when you're detangling your hair you want to ensure that you're not breaking off your hair so you have to be gentle with you know removing the knots and all of that so finger detangling along with my tangle teaser helps with the whole low manipulation part of my hair and so that i think helps to keep my hair healthy and strong and doesn't cause a lot of breakage and all of that because you know breakage is never good that's like one of the leading causes of you not having healthy strong and even longer hair so yeah so it's always good to have like a really good method of detangling your loose natural hair so my third tip or my third thing that i do i actually use hair oils 
and I use a leave-in conditioner right now. I really use one hair oil at the moment and that's the meal um, organic oil, the rosemary and milk scalp oil, which everyone should know about, which is this item right here. Um, I think it went viral or something, but I am not one to just use things because of trends, but I really love this oil. Like I literally use it every time my scalp i feel like my scalp needs that extra you know care it's also good for split end care of course i mostly use it as scalp treatment so i incorporate oils in my hair routine i also have this leave-in conditioner from camille rose that i use right but it's called curl of moisture milk first of all camille rose i love that line of hair products so i like to use those either when i'm like washing and styling my hair or just in between wash and style mostly the oil i'll use on my scalp like in between and then i'll use a leave-in conditioner whenever i wash my hair and i'm using like my camille rose curl maker gel and all of that all right so for the twist outs i do have twist outs and braid outs i do have the camille rose almond jai twisting butter that i used to use before i cut my natural hair into this tapered cut and that makes my hair super soft it gives my hair the moisture that it needs and it's just amazing so definitely i will be using that again when i go back to using my when i go back to doing like my twist outs and my braid outs or just if i just want to moisturize my hair and not do a wash and go i will definitely be going back to that my fourth point would be to deep condition my hair so i tend to deep condition my hair every other week so one week i will use like a hydration mask just to put back all that moisture into my hair i also struggle with dry hair for the most part so i always need that moisture so i like to do that and then on the opposite week or the alternate week i will do like a protein treatment to help um strengthen my hair especially since i have like colored hair and all of that so you know once you bleach or color your hair you tend to breakage and it weakens your hair it can also damage like your natural curl pattern and all of that so that's what i have been doing so i'll alternate with a hydration mask and protein treatment so i deep condition every other week fifth point would be i tend to look for products that are specifically um, marketed for strengthening your hair and for like color colored hair so it's like safe and helps with colored hair or color treated hair so my shampoo and my conditioner are from carol's daughter which is the goddess strength line that i speak about every time when i wash my hair and i show you guys what i used to wash my hair but i'll just show you guys again because they're that good <laughs> so this the shampoo and the conditioner right and it says um one use equals 15 times stronger hair and it's good for weak breakage prone hair so yeah those are like my favorite to use to wash so that's just an example though so i try to look for products that i know that are good and are gonna help to strengthen my hair and i'm are gonna help to you know treat my colored hair and all of that as i mentioned bleaching and coloring your hair and it's weakening your hair shaft and damaging your curl pattern i say all of that to say i will not be coloring or bleaching my hair anytime in the foreseeable future i want to grow my hair out so i'm not really planning to like cut my hair again like in a tapered short cut or anything like that so i am literally itching like even when I had my hair cut in the tapered cut. I literally wanted all this color to be gone. <laughs> like it's cute and pretty and everything, but I do have a bit of damage. I can see it, especially from combing out the locks and all of that on the ends. And I know because it's colored too, so it's more prone to breakage. So of course, a lot of the back, especially near to the nape of my neck, the color is gone. But I still, because of the shape of the style, I still have some colored ends here. So, yes, I cannot wait for my hair to grow even more so that all this color can be gone. <laughs> that way, I feel like I'm literally going to be on my 100% healthy hair growing journey. 
But until then, I'm working with the strands. They are healthy-ish, but I can still see some parts where it's not the not 100% the best. My next point now following up to this will be my trims. So I will be doing biannual professional trims. So like every six months or so. So when I went and did the tapered cut, it was in May, right? So six months from then, which would be June, July, August. So about December, January, I will definitely be going back to get another professional trim just to keep my hair healthy, keep my hair um, you know, once you don't have as much split ends, your hair is gonna flourish and grow and just be the healthiest it possibly can be. So it's good to have trims and to keep up with the trims so that, you know, cause you know, once the ends start to split and it splits too far and then when you do go for your trims, then they're gonna be trimming more than an inch or two. <laughs> and we don't want that, right? Yeah. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, seven. five, six, seven, eight. My next tip that I like to do, or next thing that I like to do, is applying moderate heat. Most times, I'll use a diffuser to dry my hair after I do a wash and go. I'll let it air dry for a little bit first. Like, go ahead, do chores and stuff around the house, around the apartment, all the things, and then, like, to just ensure that it's fully dry like before I go to my bed and everything and to make sure that the curls are set and all the things then I'll go in with my diffuser I do not put it on the extreme high heat I just put it on moderate heat the blow dryer that I have allows settings for me to like adjust so I can put it on cool while having it on medium and all of that so I try to use a moderate heat not too much heat just to ensure that I'm not damaging my hair or anything like that I'm now at the ninth tip, which should be that I always sleep with a bonnet or a satin scarf. I think this goes without saying for all black women. <laughs> or, so you don't even have to have just natural hair fade to sleep with a scarf or a bonnet. We sleep with a scarf or a bonnet if we're having braids, if we have locks. I spoke about this when I had locks as well. But I have to put it in there because that's literally... A part of me now like every single night I don't go to bed without a scarf or a bonnet on my head if I'm sleeping in the day I have to put it on or I have to have like some silk surface some silk pillowcase some silk scarf over my pillowcase something that's gonna protect my hair okay <laughs> so that's a must so my final point is that I plan to do protective styles here and there just to give myself, I mean my hair and myself, a break <laughs> in between like styling and all of that. You know you have different form of protective styles. I am interested in braids so I plan to, you know, install braids here and there to give my hair a little break and it will give my hair time to, you know, rest <laughs> i won't be manipulating it or anything because it will be you know tied up in the hair and all of that and i'll probably keep them in for like a month maybe six weeks max and then take them down and of course you know i'll definitely be treating the hair and all of that again just to make sure that all was well but yeah i do think i do plan to incorporate protective styles here and there just to give my hair a little break from always like styling it so it would be even more of low manipulation to my hair so those are the 10 little hair care tips that I have implemented that I have found that have been helping my hair um, to just grow and flourish um, persons always tell me that my hair is very thick <laughs> and looks very healthy and I was a little bit concerned especially after going the route of combing out my locks so I did I did anticipate having some form of breakage and all of that so I find that these little 10 tips have been working for me and I plan to continue to just do them and just to see how best I can you know continue to take care of my hair and I do hope that some of these tips have been helpful um, if you have any additional thing to add, any additional tip 
or anything at all <laughs> please feel free to comment in the comment section below let me hear your thoughts also yes let me know your thoughts because i would like to add to my tips that i'm currently doing to so that we can all have healthy strong hair because i'm sure we all want that right yes so if you like this video please be sure to give this video a thumbs up share with a friend who you think might enjoy this type of content and ensure that you subscribe if you have not already and just thank you so so much for watching thank you for being here i just appreciate every single one of you and i'm so grateful for you guys all right so that's it for this video i'll see you all in my next video bye